Hey everyone, TurnMTG here and welcome to the first video of the week. And today we are going budget arena. Budget arena today, uh, there's due to be potentially another ban coming in and I think pretty much everything in this deck will be safe, which is why I'm going for one of these today. Um, so we time this video out, we might know what is now banned. Is it going to be? Is it going to be the Lotus? Is it going to be the Omnath? Oh, I think it could be Lucky Clover, but hey, I could be wrong. So this is the deck today, Budget Dimir Kicker. Uh, highly requested, let's apply some styles first of all. Should we? Let's, let's pimp this deck up. Uh, sorry, no camera today. Uh, you might be able to tell from my voice. I'm a little bit rough still, which is why there was no video over the weekend or streams. I'm sorry about that. I was just not feeling good and plus I had to work and yeah, just life. But today we're back fighting with a deck and we're going to take on the rare mythic meta that it is um, with a deck that just has the five rares. So if you don't know when I do my budget decks, I don't like using any more than five rares. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the rares today. So there's a lot of good rares in, in um, kicker using the kicker. Um, we're going to have a one-off Skyclave Shade in there because it has a lot of recursion. Potential recursion, shall I say. It doesn't, it's not guaranteed it's always going to come back. But whenever a landfall ends in the battlefield, under your control, Skyclave Return, Graveyard to Return. It's a really cool card. And we can have one in there just to be a constant threat, maybe against um, control decks or anything like that. Choosing to use three of these, the Coral Helm Chronicler. Really cool card. Whenever you kick the spell, draw a card. So we've got lots of kicker spells. You've still got some really cool stuff in the um, rare... Uh, sorry, a common and uncommon status. And then we've got a, a single Jace in there because it can be kicked and obviously be produced as another one potentially as well. So with the rares that we're using, we might get more value out of them and, and you know, we might get two Jace on the field potentially. And then we might obviously be able to recur the Skyclave Shade. So this is why I went with these sort of rares for this deck. Now, we do have a little bit of a parley theme going as well. We've got Acquisitions Expert in there. Enter battle, target opponent reveals a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of creatures. So that's pretty cool because we've got, you know, some different cards there like Malika Blood Priest that um, uh, triggers with the Cleric and everything like that. And it's a nice little um, potential drain and gain, you know, drain and gain. That's really cool. So we've got Wizards in there as well. Um, we've got Murphal Wizard. We've got Rogue. We've got Clerics as well. So there's a little chance that we might be able to get something sweet and that might come in and just do a little bit of work for us. But even if they just reveal one or two cards, it could be used as a blocker or something like that. It's just a really good card because we've got, you know, a bit of a controlly theme here. So I like having that in there. We've got the land that um, Palaka that can obviously disrupt hands as well. We've got, uh, where is it? Blood Chief's Thirst. Really good card with Kicker as well. Probably the best one for Uncommon for us and um, destroy target creature. We have got a really nice um, control theme going here at budget status, which is, you know, which can be hard in this sort of meta. You, you know, these budget decks are great for new players or people that just love, you know, we, we rares are hard to come by. We know how this, I say this on every one of these budget videos because it really is hard. The economy on this, you know, the arena at the moment with the, with the rare lands and the mythic lands and stuff like that is, is really hard um, for everyone to sort of build up. But if you can still build a semi-competitive deck, with this sort of budget, you know, budget take on it. I think that's pretty cool. Um, we got a wizard there in Royal Mage as well. Um, what else we got? Roost of Drakes is obviously the card that really makes this deck work. If we can get this on the field, you don't have to worry about a kicker. If you've got this turn one play, just chuck it down turn one play. Don't worry about that kicker. Play it, you know, later on for kicker potentially if you get, you know, multiples in hand. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing away, coughing away. Uh, shield, shell, 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 shell shield is in there. Because of the cheap kicker cost and can protect Sank as well, potentially. And then, obviously, if we can make a Drake, that would be really, really cool. Um, going through the deck as well, we've got Blood Beckoning. It does have three kicker. When you go to the common and uncommon cards, I've uh, noticed, obviously, kicker can be quite expensive on some of them. Um, but this one's not too bad. We can return target creature card from graveyard to our hand. And we've got, you know, stuff like Acquisition we can get back. Or maybe we can potentially get back Sank else, like one of our Coral Helms. Uh, more kicker cards. What do we have? Into the Royal, really good card for us. Um, pay it for the kicker cost. Cheap kicker cost on this, only two. Good common card, this. Bounce something, non-land permanent to the owner's hand. Um, it doesn't say opponent either, so we could actually just return Sank of our own if we want. And then we can kick it and draw a card. More card draw in Omen of the Sea as well. So, the deck does seem to have a bit of everything. Uh, we've got some of these lands that, you know, that are instant spells as well. Uh, Bienvale... 
aggro decks coming at us, shrink them down a bit, might be able to bide us sometimes. We've got a single Jawari in there for a bit of counterspell magic. And like I said, hand disruption with the Palaka. Now, um, the land. Land is obviously uh, a bit hard. We're not, we're not running the pathways or anything like that, obviously. We've got Dismal Backwater. Uh, comes in tap, but gains us a life. But it does tap for the both colours for us, which is cool. And then we just got some basics there as well, so we can't run Fable Passage, anything like that, because we're keeping it to five rares. So, this is the budget deck today. We're going to take it to some gameplay, hopefully get some nice little wins with it, if we can. That would be really, really cool. Um, oh, you saw a Mardu Party deck that's coming out this week, so I've got a little Mardu Party deck that will be coming, so make sure, if you're not subscribed already, um, please go and hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it, and if you enjoy the video at the end, just hit that little like button, it really does help. So, let's get on to some gameplay. Right, here we go, game one, just taking a sip of my cup of tea, clear the throat for the commentary coming up. My amazing wife just made me this ready as I was playing. So, acquisition, 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 eh? Hmm, it's an acquisition. Um, bubble snare. Oh, let it, come on, let's keep it. Let's get the old cleric in at play. Oh, no, it's Mill. Oh, no, it's Mill. Oh, we're going to have to kill that sharpish. Okay, what do we lose? Land, land, omen, sea. Oh, dearie, dearie me. We're playing Mill in the first game. Okay, we don't worry about them. Zero blockers. Right. Blood beckoning. No. Um, okay. Um, b -b 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 let's just play this because we want to get it in there ready for the acquisitions. Okay, drain for one. But it does mean then we can start. Depleting hands. And in for one, you know, three of these on the trot is um, pretty epic. We didn't lose two Corums then, did we? Oh, damn it. Nothing. Okay. Um, do we attempt Blood Beckoning first just to return a creature card? I think that'd be pretty sweet if we do. Um, let's return a Coral. Oh, they didn't. Okay. I thought I was expecting a counter there. Which is why I did it, but happy we got through with it. So we get rid of one card here. And then potentially we get rid of... Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. Gone. Uh, no attacks. Right. We've got to get through those walls. I apologise now for any misplays. <laughs> and like I said, for my rough voice. Oh, rooster. Rooster, rooster. Can we get through, rooster? No, hold on. Double blue. Jeez. Um, let's play acquisition. So they have to reveal two now. And we get to take one. Then we get to do it again with the other acquisition. Then we can start attacking there. There's not going to be if it's... Yeah, get rid of that. Lovely. And we go again. And we get rid of that. Oh, that's epic. Right, that is epic. Even with, like, not mass parties in the deck. We've got ways to get to two or three. But it still does sound. But one crab can do a lot. So we've got to be careful with that one crab. Um, we still haven't got the blue. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, champs. Okay. Chronicler. And we will take a blood first. Kill the crab. Come on, Dimir Kicker. Let's get some wins against this Mono Blue. Oh, the expert did some expert work. The bubble snare. All right, let's go all in. Can we kick that? Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just play it. Uh, let's just get it in for there for one. Point down to nine. We will keep attacking in. Oh, it's another crab. It's a crab. There's a battle. Oh, 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 oh. um, Kickers three on top. Um, let's see if there's anything in there we can get rid of. No. Okay. It does have flash, though, so it's going to come in and maybe kill something. 
can take care of our Malachi. Okay, didn't want to flash it in. Oh, they haven't got the black mana, have they? <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the other day when I was like playing and I had, a, I had a win on board when I put up the massive pump thing and I didn't realise I had four creatures to their three and they were on one life and I just carefully attacked carefully like some kind of idiot. Oh, they got rid of that. Wicked. And now they can go and get their black mana. That's what we like to see. Right, we really need that blue mana. Come on. Come on. They're milling it away. So those crabs do some work. They do some work, I tell you. Let's kill that. And let's attack in. Block there. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's game. Nice. Nice. Dimmer kicker five rare. Yes, please. Victory. Right, let's get on to another game while I've still got a voice. Oh, the game's done so quickly. I'm trying to get my tea down me. And the games are coming up. They're spitting it over me keyboard here. Wow, the Yeti got a bit of a drench in then. Um, right. Slightly better because we've actually got lands and colours. So, let's go in with the Dismal first of all. Gain a bit of a life. Uh, play an island next turn, probably then leave up ready for one of these two. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe we just kill that. <laughs> because, yeah. Because the crap is everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Let's change me avatar over. Show me in business. Oh, another crab, eh? Okay, with a fable passage. Okay, well, we need to find more destruction. What have we lost? We've lost some destruction. Oh, we've lost quite a bit. Okay. Um, if only that stopped abilities. Um, I'm going to leave that because I can kick it next turn. So I'm going to potentially try to do that. Leave up Jawari for a bit of counter magic. Lan is... Oh my god, they got two Fable Passage. Damn you. Damn you. What, we, what did we lose there? Uh, okay. Uh, put a little stop there in case they didn't play anything. They can flash in the omen of the sea. Not going to play anything. Not going to play anything, are you? Come on. No. Okay. Let's omen. Okay. Knew that was coming. Resolve. Okay. Mill. You know they're going to have that counter spell. That resolves. Okay, Scry. Come on. Come on. Give us a bloodthirst or a heartless act or a... Okay. Uh, I've already got one of them. And I'm going to get rid of that. Hmm, okay, not bad. Not bad. Um, okay, Tazim. Right, do we risk it? Come on, let's risk it. Come on, Roost. Come on, Roost. Get through. Yay! It got through. Wicked. Right. Now we can start. Start doing what we want to do. So what do we want to get back? Um... Potentially could get back. Oh, okay, okay. Um, all right, let's attempt to kill the crab. We do have a Jawari, but it's only count the target spell one. And that is lovely. Sweet. Jawari to the rescue. Right, lovely. Um, do I want to play? Yeah, I think I can play that as a land quite safely. And Ioma92 says, you've killed me, crab. I don't want to see no more. Shorty. Pass the pepper. Pass that pepper. So let me know your thoughts on, obviously, if there has been any bannings. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know what you think of stand at the moment. I am going to be chucking out some more historic videos. Um, just to spice it up a little bit, because... 
you know, some not all are a little bit fed up with standard. I mean, I still like playing standard, um, but I understand what people's gripes are all about. Um, but bannings make things hard. I mean, the only good thing is on Arena you get your wildcards back, but if you've got it in paper, you just don't get it back, do you? It's just rough. I mean, the only good thing is that you're not really playing competitive paper events. You might not be splashing out on single cards and stuff like that. Um, come on, Alexis Ward. Right, what should we go with? Let's go with the island to start off with. Shuck Sharks. Okay. Okay. It's all in script. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Uh, we'll just play this as a start of a beater. So what I'm saying is we've got a few of these in there, but the kicker is really expensive on this, so if we can just have it down as a as a beater, that's fine. Let's go in. Alright, that's a ten well, now we got we can get this back if it does get counted. Well potentially anyway. Torbert's crip there. Does sort of scupper that a little bit. Yeah, that's dying. It's flashing. Okay. Um, oh, I think we take the old Skyclave. Bit of Skyclave. Wow, it's another mill deck. Mill is strong. Mill is, yeah, really played quite a lot. It's good to see for someone like me who loves mill. You know, we've put quite a few mill decks up already. We've had Is It Mill. Um, God damn it. Come on, we need some land. Uh, okay, what's the kicker on this? Okay, not enough. Um, do we just play this? Do you know what? I think we just play it, you know. Um, end turn, you know, that's seven a second. That's a two turn clock potentially at the moment. Uh, we still got 45 cars left. Um, anything decent went in there? No. Well, we've got a Coral Helm in there if we want to get a Coral Helm back. Okay. Whoa. What's this? Let's have another rogue. Okay. Okay. Um, what should we do? No, that costs too much. So we'll actually just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hold, on. Hold on. How much is it? It's three. Okay. I can't do that. Um, let's just bounce it. Let's bounce that 1-4. And attack him for 7. Okay, come on. Yep, let's attack him. Um, do we try a Blood Beckon in here? Will I get rid of the old Tormids? Uh, let's go for Korahelm. Noise. Right, okay. Bit more millage. Jimmy Mill, Jimmy Mill. Um, maybe a bit of a rogue deck. Yeah, yeah, it's rogues. Okay, cool. We can sort that out. If they just play another blocker, that'd be good for us. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. So it's kill, bounce, win. That's what it is. Lovely. Right, kill. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Yep, that's that dead. And then it's bounceage with the royal. Um, oh, I didn't know they could do that. Now. Oh, oh, that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, return. And then we win. GG's Alexis. Alexis. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna crack their Tormis grip because just why the hell not? You just take my graveyard into exile. You just take it. And there's the win. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> I love that we're doing this. <laughs> Total flavor fail. Where's the kicker happening? Well, we're playing kicker cards. <laughs> but it's a sign of a good deck, remember, that it can win without doing its main master plan. That's, you know, that's what it is. All right, let's go for another game. Oh, wow, I'll admit, before we go for another game, let's go wham, bam, 
Thank you, man. Oh, unbelievable. A coral helm. Oh, that's just unbelievable. Right, let's go for another game. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Playing sardine. Wow. Fish in a tin. That's what it is. Fish in a tin. Right, come on. Okay. Keep seven. I'm keeping it because of the land, you know. I'm so scared of the arena land situation. Let's change our avatar to something scary. Show that we mean biz. We will go Malakoff first, though, just so we can get extra value. Cleric, rogue. Could do it the other way, but hey. Um, let's do that. Right. Drain for one. Acquisition goes up. Sweet. What are we playing? Okay. Um, let's play this now. In case they start to kill Malika. Comes in. Target opponent reveals number of cards. Two cards, please. Which one shall we take? What are we taking from Sardine's hands? Okay, Frostbite tap. Uh, we'll take the Forbidden. Uh, we don't mind being slowed down for a bit. It only slows you down for a turn. They don't untap. Okay. Well, we might be able to play a kicker spell. Oh my god, with no interaction. But we may be able to do it, you know. Are we going to do it now? So, all that. This is Target Creature Cold gets plus 3 plus 0. But then if you kick it, you can gain hexproof. So, we do need the untap. Uh, um, that's quite funny. That is quite funny. We're just going to buff it up. That was quite funny. I'm not going to lie. That was quite funny. All right, let's go in. Sweet. End turn. Right. We negated their shock with a shell shield. And we still didn't get to play for kicker. Okay. Okay, well, we're, we're getting plenty of land. All right, here comes the old frost breath. No, no frost breath. Okay. Oh, that was enough for a win. Well, Sardine just didn't want to know. Um, Sardine was um, totally annoyed by the fact that um, we shell shielded our creature from the shock. Didn't really get to see what our opponent's deck was doing now, unfortunately. Uh, that was a quick one, so let's go for another one. Right, here we go. Next game against Ekhaizo. So yeah, we come up against some interesting decks today. A lot of brews as well, you know. Um, Arena has uh, matched us probably quite fairly. Oh my god, run that! That's all right. No, no, that's all right. Um, we'll get rid of blood beckoning. Keep. Um, I think we go straight in with the roots of Drake's. Straight in. Straight in. Straight away. Um, spell shield, okay. And there. It's a bad love. Right, what are you playing? Demir again. Is it? Could it be Milligan? Surely not. Um, I'm actually going to play this as a land. Um, going to attack in. Hopefully they try and kill it, because I can use a kicker spell. Okay. Block. Let's buff it up. Let's buff it up. And we get a flyer. Yeah, kicker. Kick time. Go on, attack in, then I bubble snare you. Can't kick it at the moment. I mean, you draw land. So, Dimmy Rose is a bit of a thing. So I think this is the second time in the video we've come against him. Dimmy Rogues. We're Dimmy Kicker with five rares. Cool card this for an uncommon. Soaring Thought, thought Thief. Why is that flashing, eh? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. 
I mean, we could attack in, but then we're not really doing much. So let's just play this as a land. Um, go in with Skyclave, hopefully. Okay. And then we will... No attack. No point at the moment. Oh, two of them. Well, me, that might mean they might attack no now. They might attack now. Uh, we have got a Tutti Flyer, but they do get buffed now. And then potentially we can bubble snare for four. Okay, coming in. Yeah, the millage happens. The millage happens. Okay. I'm not going to block just in case. Don't mind taking two. Okay. Um... Let's make a drake. Bubble snare. Lovely. So he might be able to bring Zank in here. We're going to leave the land back just in case. Uh, whenever land is battle, go. Sweet. I mean, do we leave the land back? Let's just leave it back just in case we do need it. Uh, Soaring stays tapped. Right, it cares. Oh, fistful of cards over there, though. What could they have? Okay, millage, millage. Oh. No blocks. Okay, Dismal, we will play because we gain a life. Which is okay. And we'll just go all in again. Uh, what are you going to flash in this time? Slither Wisp, okay. And, oh my god, they've got everything. And it's a 4-3. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Hmm. That stays blocked, but um, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. I could play that potential for a kick. I was hoping they were going to kill that, to be honest, but they did not. Because we could have then played that for kicker, got another Drake out, which would have been nice. These are big, aren't they? These are big. Any way to pump up? Yeah, I mean, that's okay if we can get it back. Okay, take a bunch. Take a bunch. Right. Okay. I mean, do we play this? Let's play, bring it back. Uh, play with kicker. We got a 5 3, but it can't block. Um, well, these are all. F mm, that's not flying. Uh, do we have to hold back? Because if they flash tank in on Warriors, let's just do no attacks. Yeah, they did have Sank else. We drain to three. So we can block, block. Can't block. Take three, dead. Ah, we lost. So close. What does that do? Okay. Well played, opponent. Yeah. Well, I thought we might have got back in it there. We're very close against one of the, you know, top decks. Very, very close with our budget brew against that. We were we was a touch away. Um, you know, no removal drawn at all. Uh, if we'd drawn the blood first or the heartless, it would have been a different matter, I think. Uh, we definitely would have out aggro our opponent. But yeah, that's the deck today. Let me know what you think of it. You know, budget brews, you love them. Um, I always get a lot of support, so I appreciate that. Big thanks to my Patreons. Um, I always say thank you to you. Your, your support is epic. Um, if that's something anyone's interested in, 
go and take a you know go and take a little look. Uh, a lot of the stuff is obviously covered for Patreon, so but I do stuff like uh, I'm now recently going to start uh, updating Commander Project on there. I give early deck lists on there. Um, uh, if you're in the top tier, we arrange to play Magic and chat over Skype and have a private games between me and yourselves for over, you know for an hour or so. Um, do that once a month as well. So yeah, plenty of things to have a look at. Um, but yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, next video will be out tomorrow. And if I'm feeling a little bit better, you might get to see my ugly mug on screen. Anyway, you lot take care and I'll see you on the next one.